Now, with all the types of connectivity available on these devices, RTP, 5-pin MIDI, um, you might be thinking, why in the world would I ever choose USB? One, I think it's probably the easiest way to get started. Uh, it's, it's essentially plug and play, right? We connect it to our computer and it shows up in our DAW and we can route MIDI to and from our DAW using the device. No need to open Oracle for X series, no need to change routing. Another reason you may consider uh, using a USB connection is in particular, if you're using this on stage, it's in a rack and it's right next to your computer. Uh, if, if they're close in proximity, there's no reason, no reason really to set up a RTP MIDI connection uh, over ethernet uh, if the device is, is sitting right next to your computer. Again, super easy just to grab a USB cable and to make the connection. Uh, and so again, I think this might be the simplest way to do it, but just because it's simple doesn't mean it's it's not effective, right? So first thing, I've got my device uh, sitting here on my, my desk. I'm gonna use a Mio mm -hmm. XM. It's the same exact process, uh, whether I'm using an XM or an XL, but we're gonna work with the XM for the sake of this video. Uh, so let's take this guy, and I'm gonna plug this in right on the front panel here, right where it says USB DAW, okay? So I'm gonna connect that. Now let's go over to our DAW. Uh, again, for the sake of these videos, I'm gonna be working with Ableton Live 11. So first thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna go to Preferences here, Command, Comma. I'm gonna go to Link Tempo MIDI. Uh, but you'll see all these Mio XM ports that show up. So uh, we have DIN 1 through 4, host 1 through 8, preset selector, and then these three reserve ports that we could uh, do some internal MIDI routing with if we wanted. Um, next, if I go down to the outside uh, out uh, portion of ports, then we see again DIN 1 through 4, host 1 through 8, preset selector and then these reserve ports, both for inputs and outputs. This may seem super, super simple, uh, super straightforward, but what I wanna do is talk really quickly about what the ports are there and what they are on the device, just so that that makes sense to you. And again, one of the things that I like about this, I haven't opened Oracle for X series at all. I haven't changed anything on my device. I literally just connected it via USB, I plugged in power, and it's showing up in my DAW, it's ready to be used, which I think is great. So first, let's go back to our DAW. Again, we see here in our input section, we have DIN one through four. And if we go over to the XM, uh, here's our DIN, and we're talking about inputs on this side. So there's N1, and then N2, 3, and 4, okay? So if I want to, for instance, connect a 5-pin MIDI cable into DIN 1 that I'm going to use to control Ableton with or play key sounds with, I'm going to plug it into DIN 1 there, and then let's head back over into Ableton. I'm going to make sure DIN 1, I've got track enabled, and then let's go to a MIDI track here. I do MIDI from, you can see I already got this selected, Mio XM DIN 1, right? So essentially the path that I'm traveling here again, plug in my controller into DIN 1. We've enabled that in our DAW, in this case in Ableton. And then we're going to this track here, Mio or MIDI from Mio XM DIN 1. Again, super, super straightforward. It might seem like I get this will, this is obvious. But just wanna show you when you see the ports on the device, this is what they show up in. Uh, your doll as okay so back over to Ableton there's our DIN ports and then we have if we scroll down here again here's our eight host ports now when we talk about host ports those are these ports on the back of the Mio XM we have four you see eight listed there we can plug in a powered USB hub into any of these and access the other four of these right so we talked about our DIN ports our host ports um, and I guess I should show you just to kind of follow through on this process. If I plugged in a MIDI controller here, right, USB host port, uh, let's say I reserved it to be USB host port one, then I could go over here, MIDI from Mio you know, XM host one. And that's how I would receive MIDI from uh, my USB device, right? So again, super straightforward, I know, but it's worth just kind of walking through what those look like. Uh, final thing here I wanna show you guys are these reserved ports. And you might be going, okay, reserved, where in the world are these on the device? We look at it, there's no reserved ports that we see. Uh, these are just essentially three available ports that we can use for uh, however we want to for routing. They could be uh, internal virtual routing, kind of like the IEC driver on Mac, uh, or a virtual MIDI uh, kind of solution on Windows. 
Um, we could also use them for uh, complex routings using Oracle for X series and kind of adjust that however we want to. But those are three ports that we have available to us to use. Now, we've talked about making the connection over USB. What happens though when this USB cable that you've got uh, goes beyond uh, you know, the, the expected link of USB. What happens when you have a interface on one side of the stage and you need to make the connection uh, to your computer on the other side of the stage? That's what we're gonna talk about in our next few videos as we get into uh, connecting interfaces to our computer over Ethernet.